Welcome on Genoa, please take Venice. Welcome to part 3 of the AI only campaign for stainless steel and as you know I'm cheering on Genoa and also Byzantium. Byzantium are having a very good game, Genoa a bit meh but they're doing okay I guess. And there's loads of other factions, we saw quite a lot in the last episode. Uh, the, the unfortunate downfall of Portuguese Britain, uh, but it seems like the Scots are going to try to take York. The rise of the Moors, um, rise of Egypt, fall of the Crusader states. No one's died yet though. No factions are yet dead. However, the Crusader states, down to a final settlement, have Aiden the first to go. Let's find out. And they're gone, like that Egypt, walking there. The first faction of the series has been destroyed, and it was the Crusader States. As I kind of expected, but they survived much longer than I thought they would. Much longer. Burgos falls to the Moors, Portugal down to just two settlements. The campaign's not looking good for Portugal, they could go at any moment. Depends what the English do, I think. I think the Moors will definitely take this very soon, or maybe the French, they look invested. But it's going, to it's going to depend on if they can hold up here or not. And now with the Crusader states out of the way, where will this massive Egyptian, oh, sorry, Fatimid empire expand to? Seljuks are mostly gone, it's either the Quasimines or Byzantium. Denmark also down to the final settlement, but at least they've got a lot of troops and Norway and the HRE don't seem as interested anymore. By the way, if you're watching this uh, just a few hours after release, then tonight I'm going to be streaming uh, some 1212 AD playing as Sicily. Uh, you know, the mod for Attila, so make sure you're there for the stream. Gonna be a good one. And it appears the Fatimids, yes they are, investing now into Byzantium. They've got a lot of troops as well, Byzantium You've got quite a big challenge up ahead. I think the Fatimids, if they use all these troops effectively, I think they could win this. Pamplona under siege, come on Portugal, hold out, have a comeback. Okay, good, they held on for now, good. But Byzantium starting to crumble, two settlements lost in one turn, they just swooped on in there, took her down and no trouble. Oh, the Fatimids. The Fatimids maybe not going all out in Byzantium, going to war with the Moors, and they are pushing on Tripoli as well. Ooh, I think they're gonna take it. The Fatimids looking very good right now, looking very good. Now there's only one power that can really stop the Fatimid Empire, and that's the Quasimanis. They could possibly do it, uh, but they are at peace with them right now, or maybe. Maybe a bunch of Crusaders. We'll just ignore that. <laughs> Crusade for Frankfurt. Everyone goes to war with HRE. Crusade cancelled. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> Defeat imminent. The Quasimini Empire. Oh, they could actually get the win. They took her... They took her Jar Jar down there. And now the Saljuks only on one settlement left, I don't know their victory conditions, but if it's to hold a certain amount of uh, settlements and destroy the Saljuks, then they could be very close. The Mongols, they need to get here. They need to get here fast. Because if they win it, they win it. Although the real winner will be decided by territory, but, you know, if they win, they win. But they'll get the... Uh, they'll get an unofficial win, I'll say. But it's really done with territory at the end of part 4. And it seems Egypt pulled back from Tripoli. Maybe they lost. I don't know. Let's take a look at their diplomacy. Still at war. Maybe they did lose. Tripoli must have stormed in with some reinforcements. That would explain where the armies have gone. And France actually taking Frankfurt. Crusade or not, they want it. They're moving up uh, to Grogidulin as well and Cologne. Ooh, this could be the fall of HRE. They've been expanding a lot on the east, but not at all on the west. They took it, and we're about to see a new French superpower taking over most of the HRE. That would be interesting. 
We've never seen France really do anything before um, in normal Medieval 2, so if I can actually get a win... Ooh, Novgorod's down to just two settlements. Lithuania has been chewing them up for ages. Moscow and Finland left. The Quasiminis are at war with the Fatimids. The HRE losing one of their frontline fortresses, Stalfen, to the French. The French are doing really well in this campaign, especially against the HRE. Um, also over here, Baghdad under siege by the Krasaminis right now. Fatimids, if you want to win this campaign, and I think you could, you got to defend this front. This settlement here needs to hold. Maybe make a push of your own, but not pushing much against uh, Byzantium anymore though, which has given them time to actually prepare. And by the way, the Moors are putting all of these settlements under siege um, every few turns, but uh, the Christian powers are just holding out. The Moors are making really no progress. Alright, luckily for the Fatimids, they held out, but this is a lot of Quasimini troops. They will fall eventually in Baghdad if they don't do anything about it. Can the Hungarians take back their settlement? Ooh, they might be able to do it. Oh, Lithuania pushing on Poland, taking this settlement here. The Moors now have a border with France, after kicking the Portuguese out of Pamplona. Uh, now Portugal, they're only alive in Nottingham now. Can they expand? I doubt, I doubt it. I doubt it. I think the English will eventually take that. And the Hungarians, they failed here, but they took Vienna off the HRE which is a massive blow to them, especially considering what France is doing and now. Just look at the map. The HRE is really weak compared to how it used to look. It's, everyone's breaking through everywhere. Really not good for them. And the Danish about to take Hamburg, possibly. Ooh, Lithuania took this settlement here from... I believe they took it from Poland. Yeah, they took it from Poland, and now they have a border with the HRE. Poland also not looking good. I think they'll survive. I think they will. There's a lot of, like, space between their settlements, but... Losing a lot of land, and very quickly. No way. I did not see that coming. First of all, Lithuania took this settlement from the Cumans, but the Moors, taken to lose from the French, probably Bordeaux as well. And this has popped up. Defeat imminent for the Moors. They've taken Valencia as well. Ooh. And Castile. Uh, Castile Leon. Down to their final settlement. Oh, so this is really between right now. This is between the Moors, the Egyptians, and the Quasiminis. Three of them are really three very great powers right now. Uh, that are just dominating everyone else. There's other great powers around, but I don't think they'll have the settlements to actually catch up to those other factions. It's got to be one of these, and I think it's really going to be decided by who's going to win this war. If Egypt win this war, Egypt will win the game, in my opinion, against the Quasiminis. If the Quasiminis win, then the Moors will get the victory. Why? Because, you know, the, the Fatimids will be taken out, the Egyptians taken out, uh, there wouldn't really uh, be a rival to the Moors. But these guys aren't going to last forever, because the Mongols at some point are going to spawn into their territory. So they're going to have a downfall at some point. This is a close one, but could we even see Byzantium make a comeback, take advantage of Egyptian weakness, or some other European power? The Moors have taken Zaragoza, France only have one settlement left in Iberia, and I think it's safe to say the HRE are no longer a great power in the running. Hamburg has fallen, Cologne's about to topple, and overall it's, it's not looking good anywhere for them really. I think the HRE are done. Many factions have been pushing on the HRE, but one I did not expect to have a lot of success was the Hungarians taking Salzburg and Prague on the same turn and about to take this one as well. The HRE looking so weak, look at that border, completely battered. At long last, the English have put Galway under siege, the final rebel settlement. 
And with that, the rebels are still alive, never mind. Oh, and I also forgot to mention, uh, yeah, Cologne finally fell, fell to France. Uh, so well done, France, for that. HRE still got a lot of settlements, though. And there we go. A new threat. The Mongols about to arrive to battle the Quasaminis. Ooh, that's done a bit... That's done a bit bad for them. But very good for the Fatimids. Um, yeah, they should be able to hold out now. Or at least it should be easier for them. They might still lose Baghdad though. The Jihad has been called for Toledo, the final Castilian settlement. Ooh, good luck to Castile, but I think they're done a bit of a second faction to die. Uh, we lost the Crusader States first. It's amazing how many one settlement uh, nations they are. Castile, Aragon, uh, Novgorod don't have much left. Uh, the the Seljuks over here, Portugal. Denmark has been for most of the game. Although they have only just recently taken Hamburg. But yeah, amazing how many small nations they have are just clinging on. And could get wiped out any second. Alright, come on, get rid of this final rebel settlement. Ah, oh, come on England. Crusade called for Granada to counter the Jihad. But I think Toledo might fall first before anyone can get down here. I think that's what's going to happen. One front I haven't talked about much though is Byzantium in the north, um, expanding against the Cumans mostly. Uh, they've done actually a very good job, but you know I haven't covered it that much. And um, the Kiev and Rus have lost this settlement to uh, Lithuania, down to just two left. And look at all those, those factions there that joined the Crusade. Norway, Hungary, Poland and Scotland. Now that I did not expect, uh, Lithuania to even take a piece of the HRE, taking Thorn. Ooh. Out of all the nations to uh, take land off uh, the HRE, I did not expect Lithuania to be one of them. How's the Jihad going? Uh, they have it under siege, and they should be able to take it. Yeah, they should be able to take it. Two big armies there, plus another as reinforcements. But I'm sure, yeah, the Crusaders have arrived. The French leading the charge. I don't think it'll end in success though. They might take Granada, but I don't think they're gonna have a serious hit on the Moors. I think the Moors will still continue to be strong. Look, they've got another Jihad army here. Oi, stay away from my Genoa. The Moors actually lost their first wave, but they've got more armies coming in. Meanwhile, the Crusaders, they've made it to Granada. We have a load of reinforcements as well, but Will they make it? Will they actually make it in? Very decent, like, settlement defence there, like, the AI's done a real struggle to get a load of armies uh, clumped up to put it under siege. Getting reinforcements in is done a bit difficult. But Novgorod actually taking some land now, moving from two settlements to three. They took that from the Cumans. Look at him, just let me sneak round the edge of the mountain there, try to go unseen. I don't know where he's going. Maybe he's trying to fit his reinforcements in later, but they've got their own battles to fight first. Because they don't get stuck. Alright, third time lucky? Nope. The rebels still hold out. And the Danish are the ones to take Magdeburg. Well done, Denmark. The Crusaders have it under siege. They've got some reinforcements here, but they've... You know, the Moors have so many troops, I doubt they're going to take it. And... You know, Castile, I bet we could hold on for another siege, but eventually, they had in a break. What are you doing here? <laughs> and what do we have here? The Mongols invade. They've arrived. Rest in peace, Quasaminis. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Full stacks of troops ready to march in. I think the Quasaminis are done. There's no way they're going to survive that. Now, the series is going to end at the end of part 4, turn 200. That's 80 turns away. Do the Mongols have time to actually get over here 
and start taking territory from the Factomids as well. If they do, then I think the Moors could win it. If they don't, I think the Factomids could win it. Unless we see some other power like rise up out of nowhere. But if I'm being honest, all the European powers, um, although some of them are strong, they've all also taken a hit as well. Like even France, probably the, which should be the most powerful, has lost two settlements down here and probably gonna lose a third eventually. And rest in peace to the Seljuks. It seems like, I think, it must have been Byzantium that had a battle with them. Uh, they had a battle, killed their final family member and the faction regicided, which is what happens if you lose all your family members. They just become a rebel faction. And it seems to have happened down here to the Seljuks. It's the Krasaminis who put the settlement under siege. Uh, successful Jihad, and Castile has died as well. Castile Leon. They've gone. Faction destroyed. Yep, faction destroyed. Saljuks and Castile. Ooh. Can they hold on to Grenada? They held on for the first attack, but that's a lot of Crusaders. If the Moors can survive this, they'll be in a very good position. If they fail, I, I don't see them coming back. It depends how the Crusaders act afterwards. If they just take Granada, the Moors can recover. But if they then expand and take Mercy, Toledo, Cordoba, then they're done. The Moors have made their first move. Taking three territories out of the Quasiminis very early on. And I believe we're now at a point where we're not going to see all rebel settlements get taken. Oh, wait, the Mongols settled though, didn't they? Right, maybe they could. It depends. If the Mongols go back up to take that settlement, we might see it. Yeah, because the Quasiminis take Baku. So that's just Galway and this one over here. Uh, Urgensh Ur left as rebel settlements. I bet the Moors are gonna keep on expanding out there. Uh, the Mongols are gonna keep on expanding. I bet they will. Where's the other stacks gone? We had three more down here. Hmm, no idea where they got to. Yeah, I'm sure there were three more down here. Maybe they pushed north? Maybe they're hiding in the trees? I don't know. Right, Genoa. Second one up to try to take Granada. Not that many Moors here right now. Norway, I think you're going the wrong way. <laughs> oh, the Teutonic Order has emerged. Here we are. They're also a horde faction, by the way, in this. Uh, where are they going to go first? I've got no idea what their plan is going to be. I uh, bet it's Lithuania. Yeah, they'll go for Lithuania, obviously. Uh, but I've never actually seen the Teutonic Order event before. So I've really got no idea how, how it works or what they do. The Crusaders are here, France has it under siege, and they've got a load of reinforcements. Ah, good, Norway found their way. And we've got Genoa and Denmark over here. Hmm. The Byzantines push the, Ke uh, the Kiev and Rus down to their final settlement. And it seems the Lithuanians are interested in this. Uh, Byzantium almost got full control of the Black Sea. All they need is this one settlement from and the Hungarians, and it was the French who took Grenada. Oh, this is a really like pretty rainbow of colours right now. I like it. These Crusading armies are going to go home, and I bet the Moors can take back Grenada and Barcelona and the rest of France quite easily. I don't think much is going to come off this from now on, unless the Crusaders happen to like work together. Maybe still continue being at war with the Moors, take a bit of land instead of going back home. Then we might be able to see something, but I doubt it. And there we have it, the Teutonic Order has settled, merely putting a dent in Lithuania, uh, taking two settlements there. That's really not good for the Lithuanians, uh, having these here. And let's take a quick look at the Mongols, holding five settlements in total, and they've got a load of armies. I don't see the Quasiminis being able to hold this off. Seems some of them are more interested in pushing north. Just by looking at their armies. Right, that might just save the Quasiminis. But I don't think they're going to get the win anymore. Maybe the Mongols might get a win if they can get enough territory. Only 72 turns left. Hmm. 
Ah, interesting. Hungry took Beldred from Venice. Did not expect her to see that. Meanwhile, France is still just holding on. Uh, luckily, they've got a wall of Crusaders uh, keeping them alive in Granada. Keeping them alive for now. I like that. At long last, we have seen a power other than the Mongols actually put a hit and take territory from the Twasaminis. Egypt took Basra. And on that note, I think we're about to see a very powerful Egypt emerge in the next episode. But that's going to have to do it for part 3 of this stainless steel AI only campaign. Oh god, what mess is this? I don't want to know. <laughs> We've seen quite a lot happen. We've seen some success from Egypt, but not that much. And we've seen the Moors have a lot of success in Iberia, but still, uh, you know, they've got a bit more to do. And uh, we've seen the arrival of the Mongols and the downfall of the Quasiminis. Actually, Egypt and Mongolia might be about to border. Ooh. Maybe not, maybe not. I think, I think the Mongols will take that. But still, yeah, actually, yeah, they're going to border very soon. Definitely next episode. That's going to be interesting to see. In part four, next episode, I'll upload it on Friday. 60 turns left. The winner will be decided by who has the most amount of territory. And yeah, I don't know who it's going to be yet. I think the two runners right now are Egypt and the Moors, but any power could bring it at this point. And yeah, good luck to all the people who voted on the Discord. Uh, this closed a while ago, but there was a vote on the Discord uh, with a small giveaway as well. And yeah, good luck. Uh, to all the people on that. Good luck to them. Uh, I don't think that many people actually chose uh, the Egyptians and the Moors. Hmm. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed. Hope to see you in the next one, the final. And until then, goodbye. <laughs>